Welcome to Stock Talk. This is your host, Scott. Hope you've had a good uh, few weeks of trading here. Uh, just kind of waiting for the first year, see how it would go before we did another video. So uh, today is the uh, 3rd of February, so we'll take a look at how we started out the year. We did start out pretty good for the year. Uh, hopefully this continues. Um, had a lot of green days, had a lot of uh, good up days, uh, especially in our uh, NASDAQ type stocks. So uh, we're going to take a look at our portfolio. Uh, I do want you to notice that we don't have the background anymore because that was kind of slowing my computer down and uh, it was causing some issues. So we're just going to leave the background out and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at our portfolio and jump right in. All right, so here you see the portfolio. Um, you can see today we are uh, up a little bit in, on the Dow. We are uh, pretty flat on the S&P and the NASDAQ. And considering that we had some pretty bad uh, earnings yesterday evening, uh, that's not too bad of a start for the day. Uh, so uh, we'll take that. We'll, we had a lot of them down in after hours yesterday, as much as 5 or $6. Now, we had a great day yesterday. But we had Amazon and Google have some bad earnings yesterday, brought everything down in after hours. and. Uh, you can see here that we've got a few green ones today. We got Tesla up, we've got CLSD up, uh, and then we got Nikola up as well. So, but you can see, let's go ahead and take a look at what's been going on, and uh, with the with the uh, stocks and the uh, things that we're holding here. So we are holding QQQ. I've been buying a little bit of that as the days go on, um, just kind of nibbling at it, putting cash to work. So I think we've seen the bottom. We'll talk about that uh, probably right now. So let's uh, let's take a look at this. I want to go back six months and show you what's going on here. Uh, I'm going to pull up this into a uh, uh, in my iPhone because it gives you the percentage if if you do that. And uh, so for six month period here, we're down three and a half percent on the Nasdaq. So almost flat almost back to where we were six months ago and so that's pretty good if you take a look at a one month chart though on the nasdaq you're going to see uh, a 17 percent 17 17.7 percent gain for the one month period and let's go to year to date year to date you're looking at a 16.93 um, almost 17 percent so good start to the year i mean when you start out 17 percent on a on a QQQ, that's pretty good. So we really like the start of the year. Now, I like to kind of look at what's going on this week uh, on the five-day period there. And you do see we are up 5% for the week. And you see the big jump was Thursday. Um, and, of course, that was uh, following the um, following the Fed's announcement, uh, the 0.25% increase in rates. Uh, they were... According to all the talking heads, he was very dovish, so uh, the market likes that, and uh, and so it's a good place to be right now. So we are looking at, for a five-day period, again, 5% up on that particular holding. So that's a, that's a good, anytime we have a five-day period and we're up 5%, that's a very good week. Uh, so, all right, let's take a look at GBTC. GBTC, uh, that's a Bitcoin trust. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the six-month period there. We're going to do that on all these. Uh, the six-month period on the GBTC. Let me pull this up and take a look at it on the phone to see what the percentage are. Now, see, we've got a, we're still down 11.87% on that. So we got a ways to go to get back to that six-month period. Uh, but if you look at the one-month period on this, you, you're going to see something pretty good, and it's 56% gain. So you've had a 56% gain in the one month period, year to date. Uh, so that, it's not gonna be much difference, 54%. So year to date, that's not very bad, a 54% return. Uh, we got a ways to go to get back to the six month period. Now let's take a look at the five day. The five day, we are looking at about a 3.5. So that has not kept up with the uh, QQQ, which was 5%. But you know this thing can move pretty quick. And it is down a little bit today where, where the QQQ is more flat. So, uh, but not bad. I mean, you know, five-day period, you're still up 3.5%. That's almost 
CD money in a week, so we'll take that. Um, you know, you can't argue with three, three and a half percent a week. If we could do that all year, we'd be in pretty good shape at the end of the year. So, um, uh, ETH E, that's another trust for Ethereum, uh, another crypto. And so, uh, let's go take a look at that on the one year, I mean, a six month, six month period. Again, you can see we're down a pretty good bit on that. Let's go back to the phone here and take a look at that real quick on a six month period. So you're still down 36.66% on that. So that one's trailing for sure. Uh, maybe uh, it's just not coming back up like the others, but Ethereum's uh, something we need to watch there. Um, I did take some of my actual Ethereum crypto and trade it out for something called Solana. We'll take a look at that uh, maybe some other time. But uh, anyway, let's go back and take a look at some others. That one's, that one, uh, Let's see, let's go ahead and take a look at the five day on that. We'll just jump to the five day. Six months, not very good. Let's year to date, let's take a look at that. You can see uh year to date on Ethereum though, even though we're still way down on that one, we are up 65% on that at the last six months. So it what what these things are showing is that we've hit the we've hit the bottom and we're pretty far off the bottom. Uh, it looks like so I don't think we're going to be back down to these lows that we were at uh, back in whenever that was December I guess December was terrible there's a lot of tax loss selling and I think that was the main thing that was driving us down in December but you can go all the way like six months and you're here you still got a ways to go to make up but five day period here five day period we're pretty flat it's up it's green it's 0.64 percent so as long as it's green, that's that's the right direction. That's what we want to see. So we're seeing all of them's up for the week for sure. So far, Novavax is uh, still under that twelve dollars. So we're not we don't have any of that. We got out at forty something, forty three or forty nine. I can't remember what we got out at, but glad we did. Amazon's having a bad day. They had bad earnings, but uh, not down as far as it was up yesterday. So it's still probably up for the week so let's take a look at Amazon uh, on a six month period just to get a good idea of what's going on there uh, let me tell you what the percentage is here six month period for Amazon you're still down 23 percent uh, year to date it's going to be uh, let's see here six month period is down 23 percent but if you look at a year to date you're up 27 percent Okay, so if you look at this year, I'm sorry, year to date, so this past month or so, you're up 27%. So it's heading the right direction. This week, uh, we, uh, the past five days, we're still up 4.94, 5%, just changed to 5%. So it's tracking the, the QQQ, which is tracking the index. So, uh, not bad. We'll take a 5% up week, even though today's having a rough day, uh, down 5%. So it would have been up 10% if not for today. So it was having a really good week, and then they're taking back half of it today. But hey, 5% uh, a week, again, take that all day long. That's uh, Those are good numbers we'll take for sure. All right, so Google probably going to have a similar story. Actually, they've recovered pretty good today. Uh, they had... Uh, earnings too that was knocking them down this morning but they've come back off their bottoms this morning so let's take a look at the year to date on that year to date uh, you can see here we are on Google and I'm going to take a look at that year to date you're up 21% on that let's take a look at that six month six month period on this one uh, it's still down about nine and a half percent for the six month period so it's making its way. You can see the bottom on that was back in sometime in October, right in here. Uh, that's probably where we hit bottoms on a lot of things. Actually, it's November, November 3rd. So in the beginning of November is where we're seeing the bottoms. And uh, so let's take a look at the five-day period on this one. Five-day period, we're up seven, seven, almost 7.5%. Seven so very good week for this one as well. All right, let's see. 
All right, now we're at the the good one. Look at Tesla go. I mean, it's it was down five dollars and something after hours yesterday after having a very good day. Now you can see we're up five percent today, getting close to the two hundred mark. So let's take a look at the Tesla stock. This one, you know, I was holding for that whole downturn and. I've been adding to it since then, and uh, it's been some good ads. You know, it seems like it goes up every day now, and the volume's been high. You can see here we're almost at the daily volume, uh, and here it is as 10:30 my time. So um, you can expect it's probably going to go over that 147 even on Friday. So let's take a look at the. Um, let's start with a six month. Let's start with the bad news first. Okay, we're going to look at the six-month period here. Tesla, you can see there's a downward trend there. So it's still down 35% for the six-month period. Okay, 35% for the six-month period. Now, its low mark was not in November. Its low mark was back in December. So you know, it just kept on going down, down, down. And these were, I think, some of the Elon sales. It was also all the Twitter stuff going on. And uh, just, uh, I think, tax loss, things like that. Shorts just piling in on it. I don't think the shorts are covered yet, so we're still waiting for the, the, them to get out. But you can see it's up $10 right now. So uh, let's take a look. Let's look at the good news. The good news on this one, let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the uh, year to date on this one. And uh, you're going to see a pretty chart here on the year to date. You can see this thing has gone very nice trend up, very nice. And it is up 61% as I write this minute. 61% year to date. And so it's heading in the right direction for sure. Uh, for the month, let's take a look at the one month period. 83% in the month. 83% in the last month. Now let's go for the five day. What did it do this week? Well, it's had a good week again. It's uh, up 11.3% for the week. So Tesla has definitely been on fire. Uh, they cut prices on their vehicles. They're really putting the pressure on the people like Ford and GM. Uh, Tesla's got a very large margin on their vehicles. Uh, their EVs make money where you know the other EVs do not make money. And so they can afford to cut prices, but you can see that uh, even Ford has cut the price on the Mustang this week, and they're already losing money on that vehicle. So, uh, but they're cutting prices because they have to, because uh, Tesla's forcing people's hands now. And Tesla's got some of their vehicles that were not going to be eligible for the uh, uh, rebates uh, from the government, the credits. Uh, by lowering those prices, they are now within that range of doing that. And, I think Ford has now got their Mustang there as well, so so they can get the rebate, so they can get even cheaper. So the vehicle, if you're if you've been looking for an electric car, now is a good time to jump on it because uh, uh, there's some credits and the prices have just dropped. But I think uh, don't be surprised if Tesla doesn't keep dropping these prices if they have to, if they have to, because they wanna they wanna stay ahead of the game. They want to sell the most vehicles, and uh, I think that's their game plan. So watch them. Just watch them in the next few weeks. Uh, very pleased with this one on the turnaround. Just need to keep going. It's uh, needs to keep going. But we have been adding to that one as well, along with the QQQ. Those are the two that uh, we feel real comfortable about right now. Um, everything else is still kind of up in the air. As far as our confidence levels go, we like those two for sure. Um, even as they still go up. So any kind of pullback on Tesla, I might add even more. Uh, CLSD, let's take a look at that. CLSD, this is a, one of our biomeds. And let's go ahead and look at the six-month period of CLSD. Uh, six-month period. Actually, on the six-month period, this one is 5% up. So, you know, that's not a bad return in six months for for uh, a biomed. And... Uh, we're still down on what we bought it at, but it's it's definitely had a good last six months. So let's go look at the uh, year to date. Year to date, you're talking about 
a gain of 41%. So this one has gone up year to date, 41%. And let's take a look at the week, the one week, the five day, you're up 18.8% on this one. So good news all around. Everything, like I was saying, when we had the, uh, when we were having this downturn and everybody in panic mode and it's not fun and it's not comfortable, but if you're holding the right stocks, when the market turns, you'll know it because your stocks will be going up. And uh, when you have these good green days, you should see some green days. And if you're not, then you probably got the wrong stocks uh, for the turnaround. And so when you have these good green days in the NASDAQ, especially, uh, you, you want to make sure if you've got a lot of NASDAQ type stops, uh, tech, tech stops, things like that, you, you ought to have a green day and you ought to, your, your beta on these stocks are higher than the market. So if the market goes up 3%, your portfolio ought to be higher up than 3%. You know, if you're, if you're holding something that's going to beat the market. Uh, if, and it ought to at least match the market. So you want to at least match the market. If, you, if you're not matching the market, maybe you want to think about the QQQ. Uh, and just, you know, because that's, that's a better deal if, you're, if you want to at least track the markets. And that's why you want to put money in both. I mean, really, QQQ is a nice holding. Uh, it's, I'm looking at it as my cash now. I'm reducing my cash and putting it into the QQQ because I feel like it's headed up. And so I want to gain something on my cash. I don't want my cash just sitting there getting some peasly little interest rate in the money market. So I'm putting it in QQQ. And let's go back and let's look at that. So in the last six months, uh, in the last, uh, let's say, year to date, let's go year to date. So as we, you can see here, we got a nice little trend up year to date on that QQQ. And so instead of having cash sit there making a percent or something like that, this, this is making 17.25%. Instead of some measly little 1% or 2%, 3%, whatever you get on the cash account, you're on your cash now. So, of course, you know, that works both ways. It could go down and you could end up losing money, but we, we've been buying it for a long time now. Uh, take a look at that six-month period on this one. We've been buying it during this period. So you can see a lot of these buys would have been down in these areas here where we were buying. I know we bought some different times when it was having bad days and things like that. So uh, I can't remember the cheapest shares we've got right now, but they're well under that 312. And so I can I can add it 312 now because like the other day, I was up, I think, 14% on what I was holding. And then I bought... Uh, some more that brought my percentage down to 7%, but I've got, you know, more shares now, almost 50% more shares, and I'm still up 7%. So it would take a 7% drop from here for me just to get back to even. So my, it beats the cash just sitting there. Okay, so that's why I do that. Um, that's a safe way to do it, you know, just because uh, sometimes these stocks can turn, you know, like we've seen. But the end is the you know, QQQ is not going to turn, you know, 10% in a day. You won't see that kind of thing. But you can see these stocks do things like that. All right, let's go. We'll skip Bitcoin since uh, these are tracking Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and take a look at HUT. Uh, HUT. HUT. Let's take a look at the HUT for a uh, six-month period. And HUT is a Bitcoin miner. Uh, so that's how we kind of play our Bitcoin inside IRAs and things like that. We buy this stock here. Uh, we're going to take a look at the six-month period. All right, at the six-month period, we're pretty flat. We're at uh, down 1.23%, okay? All right, now we're going to take a look at the year-to-date on the HUT miners. And this has been a, this has been a good one. This thing has gone up 178% year-to-date. So in the first month and three days, this one has gone up six, I mean, 179 and a half percent. So you can see we were way down here, 81 cents. You see what it is now? It's $2 and 37 cents. This has been because Bitcoin has been going up. 
And so the miners had gone up as well, and they'd gone up, you know, they were way down here, and they were hurting down here, and we were getting a little concerned because anything that trades under a dollar for 30 days can get in a mess, okay, and get delisted. And so you can see they've made quite the comeback. Very volatile stuff, uh, but they can it can bounce really high. I do want to show you this. Let's go take a look at the one-year chart. You can see how far we're still down. Okay, so that's a that's a long ways to go, and I want to show you. Let's do a five-day chart so you can see. This thing has been as high as thirteen dollars and forty cents. All right, so that's when back when the uh, Bitcoin prices were as high as they were. They got up to sixty thousand. I think it was sixty something thousand. And so when when Bitcoin prices get way up there, these miners go way up there because they're mining these bitcoins and they're making lots of money. Now, the thing I like about HUD is they do not sell their Bitcoin that they mine. Uh, they they operate off of some other things, but uh, they do not sell their Bitcoin. They hold it. And so they've got a lot of Bitcoin. That's why I like this one. And so when the Bitcoin price goes back up to those sixty seventy thousand dollars $70,000 levels, this one, I hope, gets back up to this level here. And uh, we've got quite a few shares of it down in these prices here, uh, probably from $5 all the way down to two dollars and something so and, and i don't i can't remember if i bought any at 81 cents i wish i hope i did i doubt it though because i don't like to put money to work under anything under a dollar all right so may not have bought any there uh tilray tilray is uh of course this is a cannabis stock uh tilray let's take a look at the Let's take a look at the six-month period, just kind of get an idea of what Tilray has done in the last six months. Uh, it's down about 13%. Let's check the year-to-date. The year-to-date, we're up 24%, okay? So up 24% year-to-date. The one-week period, we're sitting at uh, the one-week period. Let's see here, five-day period up 4.36 so it's tracking the the uh, qqq pretty much for the week um very low volume you see here there's nothing going on with this one very low volume it's going to take some volume some interest for that thing to get going and then we got another ev type um, this is for trucks mainly trucking uh, hydrogen sales things like that uh, this one's been Doing pretty good lately, I think, but uh, let's take a look at six months. Six months, you can see just, you know, like a, many of our stocks, the six month period, period looks rough. You go to year to date, year to date, and you're headed up. Uh, let's take a look at that. The Nikola on the six month period, it was down 60%. So that's a bad one. And we're, we're in that, that one. Uh, I don't know if it's we're down 60%, but we're we're down pretty good on this one. This is one of our worst right now. Uh, and then you go to the uh, year to date, and you're looking at 36% up. Okay, 36% up, not a bad start to the year. Again, what I'm looking for on these stocks, you know, is I'm looking for when we have a green day in the market, I want my stocks to outperform uh, the the market. I want I want my stocks, if the QQQ is up 3%, I want my stocks up 5% or 4.5%. I want to outperform the markets. And so that's what I've been seeing uh, uh, this this year so far. Uh, we, you know, it, it's been a really good start to the year, uh, but we've had a really bad year. So we got a long ways to go. we got a long ways to go, but this is this is what happens is these markets go down and they go down and they go down and then, you know, it's just, they have no business being down to the level they go to uh, and then they turn. And once they turn, if you're not in the market, you're going to miss some good days and you're going to miss some good chances of gaining. So that's why it's so important to, when these things go down and, and you're holding stocks that go down unreasonably, it's hard to hold on to them. You want to just say, well, I'm just going to get out and sell it till it bottoms out. Well, it's hard to pick that. You can't, you know, it's so hard to time. You got people right now, all these experts on TV, 
that are saying, you know, well, this market's going to turn back down. We're going to a recession. Um, and they may be right. They may be right. And we, I may be wrong. But I think we've seen the bottom. And uh, I think we're going to, you know, we may have some ups and downs and probably will uh, because of how, how well it's done in just this first month. Uh, so it wouldn't surprise me if we didn't have some issues. But the whole thing is tied to the Fed. And what is the Fed doing? And I think if what you're seeing now in the market is when when this when there's a sell off the buyers come in just like this morning there's these things uh, were were selling let me show you the, the the charts this morning let's go back to that let's go back to uh, the chart here and when these things start selling the mo the buyers come in and uh, that's what you want to see we weren't seeing that all we kept seeing was buyers I mean sellers coming on top of sellers. And uh, you can see here, see this NASDAQ, see these, see where these things started this morning. You see these little charts here. I'm going to pull up the NASDAQ chart so you can see a little bit better. The morning started out way down here. Okay, that's because Amazon, Apple, Google, they all had bad earnings or not so good earnings. Some of the worst earnings they've had. Missed, all of them missed. So the market started way out, way down here, but the buyers moved in. Here comes the buyers, okay? Here comes the buyers. And so uh, we're going to watch that. That's what's been happening. Let's see if we can see. Uh, yeah, so flat, flat, flat to the Fed talks. And when the Fed speaks, there she goes. Now, what happened yesterday? Same thing happens when the buyers come in. It gets crazy. I mean, it gets unreasonable for a day. Like yesterday, everything was up, and it was just up crazy. And so about 2 o'clock, what happens? Sell off. People take profits. That's what happened yesterday. Settles down. The buyers come back. Then you got your earnings. It knocks it back down. And then it sells. Buyers come back. So that's what we're seeing. We weren't seeing that back in December. All we kept seeing was sellers, sellers, sellers. And they were selling to take tax losses. Now they're selling. Uh, they'll sell to take profits. And then they'll move back in once it dips. And so that's what you're going to be looking for, and that's probably what you're going to see. You're probably not going to see a downward trend. You're going to see an upward trend, but you're going to have sell-offs. And so those are opportunities to buy the dip. Unless something happens with the Fed and they change, you know, from a dovish to hawkish again, and, and then the, all bets are off again if the, if the Fed starts talking negative again. So it's just all relies on what that Fed keeps saying. That's what this whole market's riding on. That's why it went down like it did. The lesson I've learned this time is uh, in, in a bull market, once we get near the tops and stuff like that, once you hear the Fed say, we're going we're gonna to up interest rates or we're going to stop easing and all this kind of stuff, you might as well start pulling your profits because uh, it's going down. Uh, I've learned that lesson. Of course, we did have a good bit of cash on the side, and uh, so we're, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, the, the volume, uh, the balances are lower than they've been, but... Uh, we've got cash on the side still, and uh, our, our stuff's heading in the right direction. I hope yours is too, and uh, we'll see you later. We've got a long ways to go before we get back to where we were, but we like the way the year's starting. Hope you have a great uh, few weeks of trading. We'll get back on here later on, maybe the end of the next month. Okay, thanks. Bye.